if there's ever a definition for what a Southern genteel gentleman should be, when you open the dictionary, it's Mr. Bolin. He's, uh, he's just a true Southern gentleman from the old school. Uh, I've never heard him make any type of negative remark about anyone. He loved to whistle. You'd hear him going down the hall, no matter where you were, you'd hear Mr. Bolin whistling, and that always made us feel so good. We should all want to be half as good as Bill Bolin is, because being half as good as Bill Bolin is, is greatness. A well-known and revered television personality in Birmingham for more than 50 years, Bill Bolin's interest in broadcasting began in his hometown of Selma, listening to another longtime Alabama media fixture. I go back to my friend Julius Talton, uh, and uh, I had watched him a little bit, and uh, I liked what he was doing. Talton owned WHBB, and while still in high school, Bolin applied for a job. And, and he helped me to get on the air, and uh, it really was good. Uh, it was just very exciting. After studying broadcasting at the University of Alabama, Bolin served in the military. His first job was in radio at WSGN, but he moved quickly to television and WBRC6, where he joined a group of Birmingham's most enduring personalities. Bill, when did you uh, come to 6? Uh, 1969? And you joined the morning shift to do the news on the morning show and the noon news. Yeah, that was basically and what I... As time went on, he did a little bit of everything. I mean, he went through every part of the industry, you know, that a lot of us studied when we were in school. He had that perspective of it. Viewers loved him. He was someone that you knew you could trust him. Mr. Bolin, every day of his working life, was up at 2 and 2.30 every morning. Most mortals would be a little grumpy sometime during their lives about that. I never ever saw Mr. Bolin unhappy, grumpy. I enjoyed what I did. I really did. People will come up to him as if they know him and they have had him in their living room, I suppose, with the television and they feel like they do. And he, they approach him and he's always just so kind to them. He uh, stops and talks to them and he's uh, very kind to them, very patient. I think uh, Bill is one of the few guys I have met that lived his religion. There are people in your, that you meet in your life that enriches your life and makes you better around whom you're around. Mr. Bolin is one of those enriching people and we're all richer for having gotten to know him. You know, this industry has changed so much and I don't think people slow down enough like Mr. Bolin did to make us think about life and what's important. I was never able to call him Bill. I, it just never would come out of my mouth like that because I respected him so much. So he was always Mr. Bolin to me. And when he retired, you know, and that whistle laugh, that was hard to get used to.